how do you draw a triangle that is this equal area with a given triangle so this is what i mean if you have a triangle like this and you are asked to draw another triangle that is of the same area with this particular triangle but on a different base so let's say this base is 10 centimeter and you're asked to draw another one with a base of 12 centimeter but they must be of the same area how do you go about it Welcome to PA Academy and in this video I'm going to be putting you through step by step how to go through this whereby you are asked to draw a triangle that is the same area to a given triangle but on a different base. Now, um, there's a similar video I did uh, on my channel concerning this but the only difference is that I didn't do some calculations that I'm going to be showing you. So we are going to be confirming uh, the, the area after we are done with the, with the drawing. So to do this, now let me just uh, draw the triangle that we are going to be using. So I'm going to be drawing a triangle with a base of 10 centimeter. So with a base of 10 centimeter, then I'm going to be using a height. So I'm it's going to be using a right angle triangle. So I'm going to be using a uh, height of six centimeter. So then let's just join this together. So this is A, B, and C. So that means this from, let me write it at the side. So A, B is 10 centimeter. Then A, C is 6 centimeter. So now what would be the area? Don't forget the area, of, um, to calculate the area of a right angle, we have half base times height. So that's 1 over 2 times the base is A, B times the height, A, C. So that will be 1 over 2 times 10 centimeter times 6 centimeter. So if you do this, it's going to be giving us 10 times 6 is 60 divided by 2 give us 30 centimeter square. So that means the area of this triangle ABC is 30 centimeter square. So now, if I do now draw a triangle that is of the same area of 30 centimeters square, but the base of a different base. So that now let's use a base of 12 centimeter. So now let's extend this. So what we are going to do is we are going to extend this to 12 centimeter. Now this is 10. So now we are going to extend it to, to 12. So extending it to 12 means we are adding two more centimeter to it. So let's call this point point D. Point D. So now we already have the base of the new triangle that we are drawing. The next thing to do is to join point D to point C. So for this we are going to be using a faint line. I hope you can see it, okay? So next, we are going to be drawing a line that is parallel to line CD from point B. We are going to draw a line from point B to come and touch somewhere on line CA, but it's going to be parallel to line DC. So let me do that. So I've been able to get a line that's parallel to line CD. So at this point, touching this point at point, so let's call it point E at this point. So the next thing to do is we are going to join point D to point E, point D to point E. So I'm going to be using a thick line because that's, a, that's this uh, second triangle. So with this now, in this diagram like this, we are having two triangles, we are having triangle a, B, C, that is A, B, C, which is the initial triangle. And now we've been able to get the second triangle that's of the same area with triangle A, B, C. And that is triangle A, A, D, A, D, E, A, D, E. So now let's confirm if what we've just done is correct. Remember at the beginning we've gotten the area of triangle A, B, C to be 30 centimeter square. So now let's confirm if A, D, E will also give us 30 centimeter square. So now let's, uh, that means for a, this A, D, E, A, D, E, let's bring out the uh, the parameters. So for A, D, we have A, D. This is it. To be 12 centimeter. 12 centimeter. So let's note it. A, D is equals to 12 centimeter. And then for the height now, so that will be from point A to point E. So from point A to point E is giving us 5 centimeters. So that means 
A E is equal to 5 cm. So now let's put in the formula to calculate the area of a right angle triangle. That is half base 1 over 2 times. The base now is AD times the height. The height is AE times AE. So let's put in the figure. So that will be 1 over 2 times our AD. AD is 12 cm. Then our AE is 5 cm. So in doing this, we are going to be having 12 cm times 5 cm will give us 60 cm square divided by 2. So 60 divided by 2 will give us 30 cm square. So you can see that means this you can see. So that has to tell us that the steps is correct. So this is how you go ahead to draw a triangle that is of equal area, of the same area to a given triangle but on a different different base. So you can also check the link in um, uh, the description of this video. You'll find the link to the first video I did. I didn't do much this calculation to, sh you know, to verify the drawing that I've done. But you can check it out in the description of this video. You'll find the link. If you have any question or any comment or any video request, uh, do leave them in the comment section below. And please, if you are yet to subscribe to PA Academy, uh, please click on the subscribe button. If you find this video helpful, uh, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check our uh, playlist on technical drawing for more helpful video like this. Also visit our website paacademy.co and I'll see you all in another video. Thank you very much.